Hey fishers, it's cod season. We can go and chase cod pretty well everywhere at the moment. How good is that? And we're getting reports coming in, obviously already, that people are fishing the river, that sort of thing. But anyway, we'll go. We'll cover that. Dartmouth, good, very happy with it. The Vic streams, quite surprising. Um, they're a lot clearer than we expected them to be, so they're starting to fish really well again. Some good quality fish in them too, by the way. Uh, Hume Weir, well, you know, it's been a bit inconsistent over the last few days. First time I've heard that for a long time. But there is still a fair few fish coming out. Uh, you've got to hunt around a bit. When you find them, you're onto it. But not everyone's catching fish there at the moment. So just keep that one in mind. Had to slow down a little bit sooner or later because it's been totally amazing. The river just below the Hume directly below, is clear enough. And a few yellows, a few trout coming out. Uh, happy days there. Uh, Moala bait fishing is all right down there apparently from what I've been told. Still a fair bit of colour going into the lake so I don't know how good it will be on the lures or the trolling but uh, bait fishing will be all right. I reckon I'd give the river just below Moala a bit of a hit chasing a few yellows. I think you'll be surprised how many you'll catch down there. Could be a really good option. The river here, look it's high, it's not promising for any, by any means but I'm getting a few good reports from around Narendra, Darlington Point all that way, some nice cod coming in there. Uh, and the river here will fish all right if you want to go and bait fish it. Uh, I can guarantee that you'll catch fish. There's no two ways about it. So it's certainly worth the effort at the moment. Tumut, well, no, let's not go past Lake Elbert. I keep forgetting that little uh, bit of water. Very special. Go and target some big cod. Use some decent sized yabbies. Get some big fish out of it. Look, it's full of big cod and there's a lot of good yellow belly coming out of it too. I can assure you of that. The lake is on fire at the moment, really happy with it. Uh, move around a bit, start to get your old noggin working a bit. There is a lot of yellows coming out for those who know. So put in a bit of time, a bit of effort, and you'll do well. Worms, yabbies, anything of that nature. Put a bait on, do a bit of trolling. Small hammerheads, can't beat those things out there. They're doing the job really well. And also the little fish stick, another great lure for the lake. Tumut River, up and down a fair bit, but uh, when it's uh, at the right height, dynamite fishing this year. Uh, I've had a few trips up there. Pretty hard to beat. Uh, can't go wrong up there at the moment. Whether you be lure fishing or drifting a bait, it doesn't matter. You will catch fish. Fly fishermen, big nymphs at the moment seem to be doing it all right. Big beadhead nymphs, hair and copper, hair and gold and ink of that nature. Big black beadhead nymphs, doesn't really matter. You can drop down to a smaller nymph, but there's some good sized fish there and uh, they seem to be sort of switched on by that bigger nymph at the moment. So give that one a bit of a hit. Late in the afternoon, give the uh, little parachute atoms, uh, uh, dad's favourite a bit of a go, or check out the caddis patterns, they'll do the job nicely. You can be in Jindabyne, Tintangra, all firing, all fishing really well, but that's been the case for a little while now. Talbingo, still worth a bit of a drive, getting a few trout out of it, a few redfin. Blowering this trout and redfin coming out and cod, uh, not as good as I'd like, tons already, there's no problem there, but uh, if you put in the time you should get some good yellows, uh, the odd trout, especially up around uh, Yellow on Bay, uh, and some really good cod, but trolling seems to be the most consistent or off the bank with yabbies, or complete chicken sit, can't beat that stuff, it scored many a big cod out of blowering and in the river here, so give that one a bit of a hit. Um, where else are we going? Wangla, starting to fish all right. Um, haven't had many reports. I've only had a couple of reports over the last week or so because of all the rain they've had up there. Uh, but off the bank with worms and little yabbies, you will catch fish out of Wangla without too much trouble at all. Burringa, not bad. Plenty of redies. Yellows are starting to move nicely. Few cod, quite a few cod trolling actually, so it's worth the effort. They've been getting smaller cod, but dragging little yellow belly lures. Put a bigger lure around on. You may come up with some decent sized cod out of Burren Jack. It's certainly worth the effort at the moment. So as you can, oh, Burren Dog, I should mention that. Burren Dog's fishing really well, getting some good reports. Not that anyone really wants to travel that far from here, uh, for the simple fact is the fishing around here is too good. But one thing I will mention, have a look at this. We've got something super special. Cod season's just open. This is the new Pioneer Altitude 300 size bait caster. Great for swim baits, great for standard flicking lures around, doesn't really matter. This is a mighty reel, I can assure you of that. Uh, come and have a look at it. You'll see it, you'll buy it, I can assure you of that. We haven't got tons, we've got a fair few, but we haven't got tons in stock. They're not gonna last past Christmas, I don't think. So have a look at it, it's amazing. This is the complete English fishing report for this week. We'll catch you next week.